Foot and mouth disease is probably the most contagious viral disease in livestock. And it is a devastating disease that affects all cloven hoofed animals. So sheep, goats, elk, bison, cattle, all of those animals are susceptible to this virus. It's important to know we're not talking about hand, foot and mouth disease. You'll hear people say, oh, I think my kid had that. No, different disease. Number one, it can't infect people, and number two, it is not a food safety risk. This is an animal health disease. Different animals show different symptoms, and so one of our concerns is that, particularly in sheep and goats, they're almost asymptomatic. The symptoms in cattle, blisters in the coronary bands of the feet, meaning that what you'll see as a producer is lame cattle, and then blisters in the mouth and the tongue. And so what you'll see is drooling, animals dropping feed, as well sometimes blisters on the teats. The reason you would distinguish this from say foot rot is because it's so contagious. This is not a single animal in the herd. Suddenly it's like, oh, I've got a bunch of lame cattle or I've got a bunch of drooling cattle or most likely both. Very young calves, it can actually kill them, so it can be that severe. Unfortunately, this virus can be spread and transferred a lot of ways. So direct contact from infected animal to infected animal is your most common, but it can also spread aerosol, so in the air, and it can also spread, of course, on what we call fomites is our fancy word, but what we mean is dirty trucks, dirty footwear, a service provider going from one farm to the other. Biggest risk and the one we need to mitigate the most is the movement of infected animals. Nobody would want to be the one who didn't recognize this and let this virus get legs under it that we took substantially longer to eliminate and get back to trade.